We've been talking about Latino leadership. And I want you to understand that leadership is so important because that's where we're underrepresented as Latinos, as people of color and as women. And if we're going to change America, if we're going to make it better for the next generation, for all of you that are listening on TikTok, we need to change leadership. So I hope you've gotten a lot from our series on Latino leadership. And today I want to talk to you about three dynamics that make us very unique as leaders. The first one is that we're intercultural. We've talked about that. Latinos are all the different cultures. We're Afro-Latinos and Chino-Latinos. We're Anglos, we have Spanish blood, I have French blood. We're a mixed people, so our leadership is multicultural leadership. Second of all, our leadership is international. And you know, this is the global age. We are forming global community. And young people believe they have more in common with people across the globe than older people in their own country. But I do wanna to talk to you about the last one, which is intergenerational. Because I got on TikTok because my daughter said, mom, that's a way for you to connect with younger people. But as I've gotten into TikTok, I realized that this is not a good or easy thing for elders to be able to do. So I have a beautiful assistant you're gonna meet, Adelicia, who has helped me do this. So let me introduce you to this gorgeous woman who has helped me with these TikToks. Okay, so this is the Hispanic Heritage Month team. Thank you, Adelisa. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me. It's been such a pleasure working with you and you've taught me so much just about Hispanic heritage and just about respecting my elders and my leaders in my community. So I'm greatly appreciative and I've loved working on this project with you. Yes, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Stay tuned because we got some margaritas coming up.